Hello everybody, I'm Varen, and in this video I'm going to give you 5 reasons why I switched to Final Cut Pro. Before we start, this video is not to say that uh, Adobe Premiere Pro necessarily sucks, but I think Final Cut Pro is better. Let's go! Reason number 1 is that Adobe Premiere Pro was the top video editor like maybe 3 years ago. It was amazing, everyone loved it, it wasn't free but it was still amazing and then Adobe added in this feature that you cannot you cannot put one video in, you, ca you have to only put two in. So if you put like continuously like one video, it's gonna have sound and if you put another video just from your desktop, it's not going to have that so you have to put both videos at once. And that can be really, really complicated for people that have huge projects, huge films, YouTube videos, and all, and all of that. And it's very easy to get messed up in that because I was editing a YouTube video the other day that I didn't post because I was too fed up with this Adobe Premiere Pro program. And there was how to how to like slow make videos slow motion in Adobe Premiere Pro. And it was so hard. I mean, making the video slow motion was not hard, but editing that to post it on YouTube after that was extremely hard. Even though I had th three videos, only three, it still I still I still got messed up. Reason being is that. Um, one didn't have sound, no matter how hard I tried just um, restarting my computer, restarting the program, it just didn't work, so this is like one of the reasons why I switched. Reason number two, in order to use Adobe Premiere Pro CC, you have to pay 30 euros every month, or was it 24? No, I think it's 30. It is horrible. I hate programs when you have to do subscriptions and pay cash and stuff. Final Cut Pro is way more expensive than Adobe Premiere Pro. Final Cut Pro is 329.99 euros, just 330 euros, and Adobe Premiere Pro is you pay 30 every month. So, um, you, for Final Cut Pro, you you pay once, all right, and you have the program. You you have sometimes if you want to do like extreme videos, you you have to buy some effects that cost 30 euros. But uh, I mean, if you're like a usual vlogger like me, and you don't need a lot, you, you just need to put all your videos together, put on some music, maybe add some words, timing and stuff. Uh, Final Cut Pro is amazing and you don't need those effects and you just pay 330 euros once and that's it you have the program and uh, you, you can start editing on it right away but in Adobe Premiere Pro the thing is you, you have to pay a monthly subscription as I've said before and sometimes when you don't have money on your internet credit card um, the program just won't work it will say just subscription expired that's how all Adobe programs work which is Another reason I don't like Adobe Premiere Pro. Reason number three, Adobe Premiere Pro CC glitches out all the time. I what I'm and what I mean by this is, uh, let me just give you an example. All right, I was editing the other video on my channel. I don't know if you guys ha have saw it. It was called uh, Fortnite Montage, and I used a song called the Fortnite Rap Battle. I had to edit it three times in a row. It just it just kept glitching out. Sorry if my camera is shaking because the table is also very shaky. It was just glitching out, right? So. So I finished, I was getting ready to export, and then I keep pressing all the buttons with my mouse and it just it just doesn't do anything, it doesn't press export, it does not start exporting and it is very very hard and second time it also did that. So I was even so I was really set off at Adobe for, for, for doing this because it just it just kept glitching out. Like I I press the video and to make things worse, um, when you close it, it does not save automatically like in Final Cut Pro. Uh, you have to do it all over again. So the montage like took me to make, I don't know, like two days in a row, which, which really sucked. Now reason number four goes out to gamers only. When you're shooting a Fortnite video, let's say, and you record your screen, your voice, your face cam if you have one, and you, you want to edit it and post it to YouTube, right? And here's the thing with uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, right? You have to, um, it's not like in Final Cut Pro, you just press save and it saves in your files or documents in Mac, on Mac, which I, I'm editing this video on. It, it just, first you have to press save and then export it, so that takes a long time. And also, if you filmed, let's say, the video in 4K, it does not give you the option, like in 1920, to 1080p, um, just 60 frames per second like all the gamers, all the Fortnite pros do like Mongrel, Benji, Booga, Fearless, Isgerian and whatever. 
right so you have to literally type in the resolution and it does not give you like the options to select right now and also sometimes it can also glitch out and put your video in 1080p 24 frames per second and watching a gaming video in 24 frames per second sucks guys I've done it before all right like my gaming videos used to be 720p but now they're 1080p 60 60p 60 frames per second which I really like this is another one of those reasons why I switched but for gaming videos, I still edit them on Adobe Premiere Pro because for gaming, I'm, I'm used to it by now. But still, it does not give you the option. You have to type in the resolution yourself. And reason number five, legitimately the most annoying thing in the world is where you, ha you have a very short clip like, hi guys, and that's it, the clip ended. On Adobe Premiere Pro, it does not show that. You have Bruh. to like guess where the clip is and click like on a blank space uh, Adobe Premiere Pro users I know you know what I'm talking about but you have back to the topic you have to like click click on a blank blank space and it maybe will pop up maybe it won't so you can't see really short clips Adobe does not like read that so you have to like guess where the clip is click on it and maybe it will show you maybe it won't like a very short it intro will not will not show guys you have to make always intros a little bit longer so if you guys are using Adobe Premiere Pro uh, you guys really have to look out for that make your intros longer but overall I clearly recommend Final Cut Pro over Adobe Premiere Pro even though Final Cut's a very big program it is very easy to use and I recommend it for all editing vlogs uh, not gaming videos because I've never tried that vlogs films short cinematics everything guys anyways guys i really hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe uh shoot me some comments down below saying what i should do next um i'll be thankful for that and just peace out see you in the next video varen signing out